Hello and welcome to Gag of the Millennial. A show where we talk about pop culture, current events. And spill the hot Darjeeling right into your laps. Goldie Waldy oh, girls. Oh, it's been a little while. Hello. Actually, it hasn't. It hasn't been that long, no. You know, you live here Just now, babe. So, we, yeah. have, we have a lot of time together. Oh, dingle dingle. It's all the, wakey, glitter, wakey. All the glitter when it starts gets stuck at the top. Glitter. And you've got to like, loosen it up. Loosen it up a bit. Get her all hot and excited. Yes. Oh, no. We're talking about a lava lamp for people who are just <laughs> listening. Um... Hello, everyone. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> so, we are back to talk about terrifying tales from retail. Yes. You love the first one we yes. did. So, there is actually a Reddit that we found called Tales from Retail. Yeah. And basically, it's people like, Telling their most shocking stories from and encounters and from, encounters from beyond the counter. From be- we say? <laughs> <laughs> Good retail. It's paranormal counter attacks. <laughs> How paradoxical! Um, so yeah, so today we're going to go through the Reddit of tales and retail, read out some terrifying horror stories from mm-hmm. customers going crazy from mm-hmm. Karens to all the things disgusting in retail. I can't believe in the first one of this, the the infamous BHS moment. I'm never shopping, shopping at BHS, BHS again. again. That was an iconic moment it, in fashion history. You know, I, it was, it really was. I'm not going to read the title of this one just because it kind of, it actually just gives away the whole story. Oh, it it's it's very Spoiler. TLD, like too, too long, didn't read. I want Be you, I want secret. to see what your actual shock is okay. without knowing what that right. is, okay? Okay. Small work, Tessa. <laughs> I love it. I don't know why I gave this man this voice. So I work. So I worked at a certain phone company as a wireless consultant, which basically just means I'm a cashier who charges, changes your phone plan and will take your money for accessories. Well, we had a strict policy where if you buy a phone case or some other accessories, we would have to charge you a 25% restocking fee if you want to return the item. Okay, that's not unusual. I mean, so, it is a little bit. It's a bit but weird, but like, I guess... It does happen. Yeah, I've that's heard some it. places like that. People often get annoyed at this, but however... On the back of the receipts, we always make them sign a waiver that says that they understand the rule that if they return something, they will only get 75% back. Okay. Regardless of whether you agree or not, whether you think like- No, you, you, you are signing something that's like saying you're agreeing yeah, to their so terms. Just, yeah, yeah, you agree. So an elderly Karen walks into the store to return an item. I say, okay, that's fine. I ring it up for her and give her the 75% of the price back. Cue mental breakdown. Of course. She says, I never knew about that policy and it's so stupid. I've been with this company for years and years and you should respect me. Blah, 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 and all that I'm kind of stuff. I'm never shopping at BHS again. Very, I'm never shopping at BHS again. I tell her to give me the receipt so I can look at it. <laughs> These people are amazing. <sighs> so look at the receipt. <laughs> so take a look at the receipt. On the back of the receipt, it says, plain in big words, there is a 25% restocking fee on all returned accessories. Directly underneath it is her signature. Oh. This escalates even worse and she begins yelling and cursing at me and finally she looks at me dead in the eyes and says, If you don't give me all my money back, I'm going to throw up all over you! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I love that! That's quite great! I'm going to throw up all over you! Oh my god. I tried to hold back my laughter because I couldn't help but think this was the most insane thing I've ever heard. Uh huh. She storms off and walks out the door. However, not only two minutes later, she comes streaming back, steaming back in there, slams her finger down her throat, <gasps> and sends her grandma juice all over the phone case wall. <laughs> <laughs> That is repulsive, but also grandma juice. <laughs> that is that is a visceral. Image. At this point, I was so stunned I couldn't even believe what was happening. Ma'am, please don't throw up on our merchandise. Cut to her shoving her fingers down her throat and then vomiting over the charger accessories. <gasps> no, because it's, it becomes like biohazard, doesn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. You have to get like specialist cleanup yeah. crews and everything. Oh my Ma'am, god. Ma'am, I'm gonna call the police. Woman proceeds to vomit on the counter I was standing behind. As she starts to leave, she turns and looks at me one more time and then sends her grandma juice. On the glass door. Manager comes in from her day off and tells me to clean it all up and I quit. Oh, fantastic. Oh, good. Yeah, you shouldn't. No, they have to. You have to have a specialist you cleaning can't, crew. Yeah, because, you can't. Like, disease like, you couldn't stuff. sell all that stuff. You have you, to get rid yeah, of it. You all. would have to get rid of it all, surely. I didn't read the title because the title says what it is. And I was oh like, no, God. you need you need to. 
I can't believe that. The woman was too stunned to speak. The woman she was, was too found stunned crying to and shout. shaking. Yeah, um, too, she was found crying and shaking and throwing up. Like the, uh, the, so I, I hate vomit. It's one of the worst things. Yeah. I, I hate vomit more than I hate most things of bodily functions. I don't know what it's about vomit, but something about it is disgusting. So the idea of like someone just vomiting everywhere. I, I can't remember if we said in the in the retail one, but like there was a customer once that just like came in pissed on the till once because we weren't thinking of what she wanted. She just literally, she literally she pulled down her pants and just like pissed all over the self scan because she we weren't giving her like the offers that were like apparently give like supposed to be you for just, her. I've never heard this story before. Did I not tell it? No, I, did what? I not tell it? Yeah, this woman just came in and she was like demanding that we gave her these offers that were like that completely expired. They were like I can't remember exactly what the, what it was, but basically she was trying to get an offer for something that wasn't an offer. Yeah, and she, she was. I I rate that we wouldn't give it to her. So she literally just pissed on the self scan. And it was just like, what I are you doing? I cannot believe. Like, what like, are you doing? At what point would you be like, today, I'm going to piss Did you public. watch that viral video a few years ago of that woman in Tesco just like shitting on the floor? No. She was she was going down with like the freezer arm. She just literally just pulled her trousers down and like shat on the floor. It was like a viral video. I'll, I'll oh, see if I can find a few answers. It was so disgusting. disgusting. People are absolutely repulsive. Repugnant girls repugnant. scum. But back to the story. Like, can you imagine just being in the store and this woman just comes and just vomits everywhere? Over like eight, eight dollars. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. That she already agreed to giving up if she returned an item. I don't know if I want to give the title away from this one because it might also be like, spoiler alert. Okay. okay. This happened a few <laughs> years ago when I was working at Large Upscale Beauty Supply. I've just been deafened. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Our register was a bit old fashioned, so we had to punch in the items sold by hand. Oh! Usually not a big deal, but definitely left some room for human error. One day, a woman came in One and my co worker. Co worker? Co worker <laughs> pressed the wrong button and overcharged her by 10 cents. My co worker instantly realized what happened and refunded her the money and gave her a few full size free samples. But upon hearing that her refund would take a few days to process, the woman flew into a fit. Sake. At this point, I, being the manager, came over and tried to smooth things over. I offered her 10 cents directly from the register and she refused. She said she wanted the money in her account immediately. At this point, she was screaming loud enough that the entire store pretty much stopped operating that every customer in the store was focused on the drama the customer wouldn't leave wouldn't take a cash refund and immediately wanted a direct deposit of 10 cents in her account the lady starts screaming about how chinese people are all thieves oh my <laughs> god oh my wow. god wow i was telling the lady that i was born in va i'm not sure what uh, vietnam uh, no virgin it, america island? oh virgin island oh no, va, VA virginia like, virginia there you go it'll probably be virginia the vatican city yeah vatican city and she and she responds by telling me that i arrived on a boat oh wow wow Wow. At this point, I see no possible peaceful resolution. So I leave her with the assistant manager and head back to call the cops. While I'm back, I hear a sudden crashing followed by loud gasps. I run out to the front and see the woman has knocked over the entire cosmetics display, breaking almost all of the products and damaging the display itself while screaming over this 10 cents. She was dragged out of the store by police and we ended up suing and winning for around $10,000 in damages. Over 10 cents. Over 10 cents. And now you're paying 10,000. And uh, these people are completely deranged. The idea that the first thing that they go to is racism. Racism. Or picking on something like that is disgusting. But those kind of people, though, that they do that. It's so common for them it to, like, really... suddenly just jump on, like, oh, it's because of this. And then it's racist yeah. comment. Or even, like, even when it comes to, like, transphobia or gay or like, homophobia. The tiniest thing will happen and it's equated to... Immediately uh, racism. Yeah. Or some sort of ism. And it's like... How have you functioned in the world up until this yeah. point when you're not just this is this, this kind of people that you hear casually saying like, oh, it's the blah to blame. Yeah. And it's like, this has nothing to do yeah. with that. But it's a bit like, what, what was it recently? That that person was like a murder or something and they're like, JK Rowling had like posted about yes! it and it was like trans, trans ally, ally, which is completely unrelated so to anything. So this person is cis, a cis murderer. A and cis she was like, oh, they've done this again. Get the ass the trans people. Trans and it was like, people. Like, what are you, what talking, are you, talking, about? What are you talking about? But what these people like that. They generally would use any excuse to bring up racism or know, homophobia or transphobia or something. I was on the bloody tubes the other day. Um, you remember when we had that, like, tube, we had a tube strike? Mm -hmm. someone, next to, someone next to me on the phone was like, they were on the phone, they were like, oh, it's because of the Polish builders. They're having a tube strike because of the Polish builders. And I just overheard and I was like, well, how does that even make how? any sense? How, how does that make you sense? come to blaming Polish builders? for our tube striking. Stupid. But Stupid. these people are legitimately like, yeah, I'm right. So this one is called, I'm not leaving here without a wee. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. I worked in a store selling DVDs, CDs, games, vinyls, and a bunch of other entertainment related stuff. Is she a CD, DVD, She TV? is a CD, DVD, no, can't host, discreet. Yeah. <laughs> this story took place the day after the launch of the Nintendo Wii. Oh, wow. Our store had guaranteed that if you had pre ordered one, a Wii before a certain date, then you would get one. If you had not pre-ordered, then it was first come, first serve on the remaining stock on the day. No one was able to place an order or reserve one after the release date as we could not guarantee whether we would get one back in or not. Yeah. The day after the release, we had just opened and I was standing there by the entrance and the, or to the door to greet the customers as they began to come in when this big angry looking guy comes charging through the door straight up to me. Oh God. Do you have a Nintendo Wii's in stock? Me. Hi, I'm sorry. We sold out all of all of our stock from yesterday. On hearing this, the customer stamped his foot and slammed on the, slammed his shopping bags against his side. I knew at this point that there was going to be drama. Oh, yes. How can you tell? A crystal ball? Customer. Right. Well, I want to pre-order one then. Me. I'm sorry. As stated before, we can no longer take pre-orders as the now release date has gone and we are unable to, we are unable to know... What's wrong? I was just thinking, how can you pre-order something? That's oh yeah, you've been released. Got, if you've already, you yeah, you stupid can't bitch. Um, and obviously, as as the day has already been released, we can no longer pre-order because we don't know when we're going to yeah, get new absolutely. ones in. I mean, imagine doing this with a PS5. Exactly. The customer. That's a lie. <laughs> You're oh. lying to me. You're I was in it two weeks ago, and I was told if I pre-ordered one, I was guaranteed one on the day of release. At this point, I'm thinking maybe I misunderstood what he was talking about and maybe he in fact did pre-order one. Oh, so you're here to collect a pre-order. Do you have your order slip and receipt, customer? No, I don't have a slip. You should have one for me because I inquired about wanting one weeks ago. Give me the manager right now. You are obviously incapable of sorting this mess out. I'm not leaving here without a wee. As angry as this guy already was, he was about to get even angrier. Oh, once I told him that I am in fact the manager. Oh no, <laughs> a dead body. A dead crossy. The guy flipped out, pointing his finger in my face, calling me a liar, telling me that there was no way some little girl was a manager. They People get so irate. They do. Like when it comes to age, Pete, like ages, people are like, if you're younger than me, especially if you're a woman as well, yeah. you are not going to tell me what I can and can't do. Yeah, it's like, they really are. Actually, sis, I will and I can. will get out and die. Just as I was starting to worry this guy was about to get physical with me, suddenly the customer is face down on the floor and being dragged out by security. Oh, okay. So, so immediately like, goodbye. Goodbye. Clearly this person didn't understand what a pre-order was or like- Didn't understand what a pre-order was, but also after being explained to you like, sorry, we don't have them in stock. We don't know where they're coming back in. Then decided to lie and say, I did pre-order one. Yeah. But then saying, actually, no, I, I didn't give any money though. And I don't have a receipt, but I did pre-order one. It's a lot of energy, isn't it? It's a lot of... It, it, it makes you realise that most, maybe not most people, but like the average consumer is not very enlightened in the yeah. intelligence department, should we yeah. say. And just imagine how many more of this guy are out there just like in the world. Like, oh, constantly, just going constantly. going about their daily... Like, how did you get to hear while breathing? How did your brain remember to breathe? How, yeah, how, if you can't function... How did you I'm keep yourself alive, Kyle? Yeah, how do you... How are you alive? But it, I, I find it weird that, like, the Nintendo Wii, so when was that? 2007? Eight, it has to eight be time? seven, I think. Instant shopping was a thing then as well. Mm -hmm. You could have mm -hmm. quite easily ordered one online. Mm -hmm. Just ordered from Amazon or... Was play.com still a thing then? Yes. You could have just ordered one, but you're like, no, I no, have, to, I have to come in and yell at this tiny woman. Although I think maybe if they're doing that, maybe they don't really understand internet shopping. Like, what's the internet? Uh, is that why I say boobs? Yeah. 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 The problem with these kind of consumers and these kind of shoppers is that they always think they're right. Mm. Even when they are being told that they are wrong, they are still yeah. like, I am correct. And like, that kind of creates this irate situation yeah. that then you're like, I'm in danger. But the stupid thing was as well, it's like this person said in the story, like this was the day after release as yeah, well. It's not even the release day. That's released. And like, if you wanted it that bad, why have you waited for the day after it's released knowing it's a brand new console? And there would have been high demand for it. And yeah, you're like absolutely. coming the day after going, I'm not leaving without a Wii. A Wii. A, a lot of these like older people when they're buying things for their children or whatever, they don't understand the hot, like, like how much of an intensely hot commodity these things are. Yeah. Like it's just like, oh, there'll be Wiis available because, you know, it's just my son wants one. But like, okay, but it sold like, Three million on the first I, day of release. I like, really struggled to actually get one when they first came out. Yeah, this one is called. What do you mean you won't give me half off just because I asked? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> wow. And I think that's pretty much the story. I was covering a break at the self-checkout and had the most lovely, not, interaction with this lady. She calls me over and I ask her how I can help. Then she tells me this big blow-up pool float is $17 at a competing store. First, I asked her if she has the price in the app or online and to show me. And she says, no. 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 No, I don't want I'm lying, basically. I found the item on the screen, which is ringing up at $28 and originally $35. I told her, yeah, so it looks like it's $28, but that's a pretty good discount considering it's originally $35. Uh, and immediately her tone of voice changes and she says, I already know that. I'm the one who rang it up. Don't you think I know? You're not listening to me. Are you paying attention to what I'm saying? You're not getting it. It's 17 at my competing store. I tell her, Sorry, maybe I'll explain again oh so you can God understand. Sake. At my what, my competing store. My well, go there like, then. Yeah, well, why don't you buy it from go your own there. store? So I tell her that the price is $28 in our store and that I'm unable to change the price. She stares at me like I just curb stomped her baby. Ooh. Oh, my God. Bye, girl. Bye. Again, she says, okay, you're not listening to me and this is getting frustrating. Can't you see that I'm frustrated because of you? Why won't you listen to me? I wasn't letting my aggravation show at all. And I said, yeah, I got you. And then she goes, no, you don't got me anything because you're not listening. I grabbed the item to take it away and she asked me to take off something something else too. I came back and took it off. Meanwhile, she's bitching to her friend next to her about my incompetence. I ignore it and take the other item and leave her to pay. As they're leaving, I tell them, have a wonderful day. And she scoffs and leaves her cart smack bag in the middle of the self-checkout full of trash and drinks in the drink holder. I hate people that think they demand a discount. We're, it's such a strange, it's, it's, it's. Or people that are like, it's not got a barcode. Oh, I must, must be free. free. You. Get bent. I have oh. the 90s are back. Very Bart Simpson. This idea that people go, like, they can just, like, get a discount because they've requested it, or, you know, um, I saw this is on a wrong shirt, or, or this is yeah, a, a, this, this was labelled as one pound, yeah. but it's a hundred pound uh, car. Like, <laughs> like, what are you talking about? That's, <clears throat> that was one of the most furious things. On the shelf, but says it's four pounds, and, and then you go always, and look. You and go and look, like, it's always something else. It's always. like, this is, it says ten pound, but there's a four pound sticker that, yeah, for that item. Yeah, for a different thing Not this. There. Like, you, this is for a hula hoop. You're giving me a tracksuit. Like, it's <laughs> not the same thing, sis. Like, <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> back to school. But it was, it, it, back, yeah. Yeah, back back, back to, out um it was one of those things <laughs> that people were just like it don't read like they just yeah, don't look at it yeah they're like, no comprehension i see a number there that item must be that number and they pick it up and it's like no no that's, that's not even that, that's not a number that says hello <laughs> <laughs> Utterly ridiculous. I haven't had to deal with one of these for a very, very, very long time. And I hope that I never have to again. No, I, I, I do have to. I, so I worked in retail way. for 10, 11 years. Mm. So I never want to go back to retail. I've done I've done my retail dues. Yeah, every, yeah you've paid your, your adieus, yes. whatever they're called. That gout. So this one's called... No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so this one's called... Customer didn't pick up her item for three years. I know, oh, I know. How can you even remember after three years? <laughs> I don't remember where I was three years ago. So this story begins in a locally owned jewelry store. Now, when the customer leaves a piece of jewelry with us, we give them a claims ticket that says, not responsible for pieces left over 60 days from completion of repair. Okay. We also take down their name, address, and phone number, multiple if possible, to ensure that we can contact the correct person when the repair is complete. It makes sense, girls. Enter customer. Oh, God. Here we the go. year is 2014. Oh, back in the day. Back in the day. <clears throat> the month is February and she leaves her ring with us to be repaired. When the jeweler completes it several weeks later, he finds that the original ring is too fragile and cannot be repaired. Oh. We call the customer and say that she will need to come and get it. Now, obviously, jewelry is something that you don't just throw out after 60 days. The warning on the ticket is just to encourage customers to pick up the items as soon as possible. Fast forward. The date is now January 2016. Oh. Jesus. We are doing a biannual call everyone who is still has jewelry here. I noticed that the repair has been here a long time and we have called her more than six times to give her the ring and the number is disconnected. We decided that after two years, this woman may be dead slash ill and no one knew to come to pick up the, the piece of jewelry. It was a piece of junk anyway, on top of what it was oh, already no. broken and beyond repair. So we just got rid of it. The date is now April, 2017. Oh no. Three years later, enter the woman to the jewelry store. She says that she is here to pick up a repair. Now, obviously the woman is furious that somehow we- <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> sorry, <just> sorry. <laughs> now, obviously, the woman is furious that we had the audacity to get rid of a piece of jewelry that she left in our possession. Mm. Three years three ago. Years. Three, three years. years ago. We explained to the woman that the repair had been disposed of and the reasoning for us doing so. We apologized, but there wasn't anything we could do. My favorite part of this is when she says, customer, but why didn't you call me? <laughs> Ma'am, we did call you and spoke to you several times to try to make you come in and you kept saying you would come and pick it up. But after two years, your number was disconnected and you did not leave another method of contact. If you look on our ticket, you will see that there is a warning that we are not responsible for past 60 days. We did you a favor of keeping your item for over two years, but then there was nothing else I could do for you. So we got rid of the item. It's now been three years later. But like, can you imagine leaving something for three years and then getting angry at the people because they don't have it? Also, how did she not like listen to anyone that was like, we can't repair it. It's not worth it. Yeah, come, and, come and get it. Get Please it. come and get it over the... And, and then, then being annoyed three years later when it's like dead. Dead. And like <laughs> you're, you disconnect your phone so they can't contact you anymore after like a year or so. Like what are you doing? And if she came into the shop to get it, surely she could have just been like, oh, my phone number has changed. I can just pop to the shop. And yeah. Like, Hello. Yeah. People used to get, people used to get angry at the store when like people, they, people would like loot, like would leave something at the tail or mm. they would lose something in the store and then get angry at us because we can't find it. I'm like, but... But you left it. You, you lost it. You lost it in the store. Someone else could have probably picked it up and taken it with them. Why? You, get, mm -hmm. you can't get angry at us because you lost something. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm, it's very that's why different. why we have signs everywhere saying, yeah. it's your property. You like, look after it. If a customer mugged you in the store, then yes, we'd get the police involved. But yes. like, or say, well, you know, one of the staff was like, I'm going to take your camera. Oh, like, it's mine. But, but if you just lose something in the store, we're not responsible if you lose it. No, 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 no. I do find that very strange as well. Even 60 days seems like quite generous. Yeah. Like after a repair is completed. Yeah. I don't know how long they would keep my rings in the store. Because I go to a store called the Great Frog to get my rings. And when they ring you, like they basically say, could you come as soon as possible the to ASAP pick it up? And I'm like, yeah, I'll come in the next couple of days. And I don't know how long they'll keep it for, but I'm assuming maybe a few weeks. But mm. the idea like even 60 days does seem like a mm -hmm, long time to mm -hmm. give an item. You'd never hear about that in any other. Exactly. Exactly. Especially because like you want to know, you don't know really how popular these places are. So yep. They must have a backlog of so much yep. stuff that's like yep. clogging up the system. So you would understand. But three years, three years and to ridiculous. be like, oh, this is unacceptable. Yeah, I'm, uh, gonna say I'm never shopping, shopping at this, this place again. Place. <laughs> So ridiculous. Absolutely unhinged. But unhinged. Then, the, that seems to be the flavor of the day is unhinged. Yeah, I mean, these people, these people that I've hinged to begin deranged. with. This one is called, no, sir, it is not my job to know. Oh. Like all retail workers, I've dealt with more than my fair share of idiosity and rudeness. I'm a cashier where I work. So you can imagine that basically I deal with all this kind of crap on a daily basis. It's not a physically demanding job, but it is extremely taxing mentally. One thing I deal with on a regular basis is customers expecting more of me than I'm able to provide. Not so much because I don't know certain things, but because I'll be reprimanded if I do. Yeah. This is one of those things. That is well. the main yeah. thing. That is yeah. the main thing that happens. Why can't I take 28 bags? Because I will get in because, trouble. Yeah, I'll get in trouble. Yeah. Stupid. The other day at work, I had just rung up a customer when I greeted another one who came in. He immediately comes up to me holding something and I'll call him Cliff. Cliff, because he made you make me want to jump off one with oh, his attitude. Oh, but I'm a spicy. She's a comedian. Yes, she is. Anyway, Cliff didn't greet me back and just asked me, where can I find another one of these? I didn't recognize what he had in his hands and I asked him what it was. Cliff's head jerked back and looked at me like I am asking a stupid question. What do you mean you don't know? I blinked. Uh, just because I've never seen this before. But if you tell me what it is, I can get someone to help you. I blinked. I blinked, blinked and he screamed, yes. how dare you how blink? dare you blink at me? Cliff interrupted me. I'm asking you, it's your job to know what this is to help customers go. I raised my eyebrows and natural reaction. I just couldn't help it and slowly corrected him. No, sir, it is not my job to know. My job is to ring up customers at my register and occasionally look up at barcodes. I can get someone whose job it is to know where it is and find it. At first, Cliff looked like he was about to give a half-baked rebuttal, but thought better of it. He apologized and told me what the thing was. It was oh. part of a toilet that he needed to replace. Oh, so I called for a plumbing specialist on the phone and she told me exactly where 
where it was. I repeated to Cliff the aisle and said, that's where it is. Go and find it. Cliff walked off without another word, not even a thank you. And I muttered, oh, welcome. Stupid this man. This same thing. So, stupid stupid man. man. Stupid, man. Stupid, stupid man. But like, the thing is, in all that time, all that fuss, you could have sorted the problem out. Yeah, you you're have... wasting. If someone, like, why would you be like, you're lying to me. You obviously you know what this you is. You just don't want to help like, what, what, if someone says, I'm sorry, I don't actually know what that is. I used to get this all the time at Mac when people would come in and be like, what's this? It's like some crumbled up piece of orange pigment from a product 28 years ago. Oh, with dear. all of the descriptive everything rubbed off. And they're like, well, you work in all this. Tell me what this is. Most of the time it wasn't even by Mac. Wasn't, yeah, like, but, I but don't it wasn't even the product. That is. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't even a Mac product. That's so stupid. Because it's like it's like when I worked at Morrison's, I had a quite a big store. People would come up to me on a checkout, and be like, "Where is this specific item? Like, mm -hmm. I don't work on the shop floor. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know where these things are. Like, mm -hmm. there are people over there. Go and ask them." And yes. It's so stupid. Like, Why don't you know? Because I'm not a shop floor worker. I yeah, work on the till. Just told them, and they're still like, "Well, you should know." It's like, no, that is not my job. Because I'm just thinking, like, what what's their job? What are they doing as a job? Like, do they know everything nothing. in their building? Absolutely like, nothing. What do you mean you don't? know where the office is inside what your you office. Like, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm very condemned. Like, I don't work on the payments department, but this is your you, job. Yes, you yes. should know. You work in an office. You should know how to do your taxes. Stupid. I don't know why people always go to, you're lying to me. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah, not like, yeah, 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 like yeah. if someone asks me something and I don't know and I say, I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't expect them to be like, yes, you do. And you're lying to me that you know because this is all a secret Illuminati complex. Oh, well, that's the real, it's all, yeah, it's all very tinfoil hats. Like, they, you're just working for you're, the government. Yeah, the government's lying to us. The science are killing our babies. You it's wait like, to the uproar sir. of the fat content and yes, butter. That's really, that is exactly what it is. And it's like, I'm not lying to you. I just yeah. don't know what that is. If you've not watched the original, uh, a oh, horror, God. Peter horror story. Just, <laughs> there was, just, there was. If you don't want to, you can go watch. It's fine, but I'll just, just remind people who didn't actually really see it. Same. Whether um, they, there was a woman who came into my store who got really angry with me because of the fat content in a but in a butter product. It was, I can't. It was like Clovis. It wasn't even buttered mm. margarine. And she was so angry with me, and she was like, "Wait, there's gonna be an uprising against the fat, like the fat content in this margarine." She's like, what are you talking, what are you talking about? about? You're but so I was like, I don't make the margarine. Yeah. Morrison's do not make this margarine. It's Clover. Like it's stupid. not so stupid. If you're that worried, go contact Clover. Yeah, go I write have... a nice letter. But she just wouldn't take that as an answer. As if like I'm I'm the reason that there's all this fat content in Clover. Uh, this woman must have been having a very unusual day. Uh, well, well, maybe it wasn't. Uh, maybe maybe it was a normal life. day. Yeah, very normal, normal day. day. So this is called Girl is ungrateful for one hundred dollar gift card. Her mum throws a fit about getting oh, a refund. Another pissy. In gift cards. They should ban gift cards. They should. They're horrible. So I work in a big clothing store. <laughs> oh, I love it. She sounds very Janine. Yeah. <clears throat> so I work in a big clothing store. And this lady, no, because it makes sound, I can't do it because it makes it sound like she's the Karen. Yeah, she's insane. So I work in a big clothing store, and this lady and her daughter come in to my register. I rang up the shirt the mum had, and I thought to myself, this is just going to be a normal transaction. Was I wrong? Of course, it never is, is it? The mum pulls out a gift card with a receipt and says, I would like a refund on this gift card. I know get gift cards a final sale, which is a normal thing everywhere. Yeah, you, you, yeah, can't, you return can't return gift cards. a gift card. Regar like this is America. I'm, yeah, America. So even in America, it's the same as what it is here. I know the gift cards a final sale and I can't give her the money back. She then pushes the receipt and the gift card closer to me on the counter and says, my sister got this for my daughter's 16th birthday, but my daughter wants a completely different clothing store's gift card instead. Well, tough shit. Tough sis. shit. Can you imagine saying like, bye? Like, <clears throat> what? Like, okay, madam, yes. Yes. She was so irritated because there was $100 on this gift card and she wanted it for another store. <laughs> so after we explained this to the woman for the fifth time and her daughter that there is nothing I can do all while the line is getting very busy at this point, the mum is now demanding I call the manager over to the register so she can chat with him. Oh. I called my manager over and he came over to the register and told the lady the same thing I just said several times. After a lot of mild shouting, she decided not to get the shirt and left the line. Shouting, I'm never coming here again! Ah! If I didn't have the- <laughs> I love it. I wouldn't even come in to begin with if I didn't have this stupid gift card. So ungrateful, the 16 year old got $100 for her, for her, from her aunt to a popular clothing store, but wanted it for a different, completely different store, making her mum go all Karen on me and my manager. It's not I, even her money, so why I is the problem? I think it's so insane that to me, like, 
because I have a story kind of similar to really? this. Yeah. If you're not no, no, normally familiar with this store, mm -hmm. you've got a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. You can find something. Oh yeah, you, absolutely. Like, absolutely. This, there, we don't know what store it was, but the person said an incredibly popular clothing store. So it's not just like some sort of like little tiny like old woman's like fanny place. Like I like. Do you know what I mean? Like it's actually going to be fanny place. It's going to be like peacocks is like an old woman's. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Peacocks. Like those kind of places. Like, you'll get like shoes or a bag. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But like peacocks is peacocks. an old woman's fanny. Place. <laughs> but like it's because it's because my grandma went there all the time. She used to buy she used to buy underwear from peacocks. Old woman's fanny. Um, but like that, like you can find something. You got you can. Hundred, like you really can. It's so ludicrous. So for me, I remember this one time. So back in like 2010. There was a girl came in and she was so angry with me because I wouldn't exchange this Google Play voucher, like gift card she oh had my God. for an iTunes one because she was like, I don't have a Google Play. I use iTunes. I'm like, just download the music off Google Play and then transfer it to iTunes. Like yeah. it would take you like 10 minutes. Like yeah. just make, oh, I don't have an account. Just make an account. Like I can't give you a completely different gift card uh -huh. because you decided... It that you wrong, don't want this yeah. one because someone's given you this. It's like so stupid. Like, mm -hmm. get a grip. Get a get a grip, sis. But like, I feel like you could say that to anyone in these stories. It's literally just like, get a grip, take a second, step back, step think back, about what you're doing, and, kill and then vomit over all the merchandise. <laughs> if you don't like the clothes in that store, someone will like the clothes in the store. I'm sure you could find someone to like exchange it or exactly, something. Exactly, exactly. But I also, think people are just stop so being ungrateful. People are ungrateful. Ungrateful. Entitled and ungrateful. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And the thing is, if you live with a Karen, you're probably going to turn up to be like well, a Karen. Well, that's exactly it, isn't it? This one is called, I'm sorry, but we're closed. Ooh. This happened the other day, and I'm still laughing because of how utterly ridiculous this situation was. There was a power outage at my store, and it shut everything off, including the registers. I told my co-worker to use a flashlight to make sure all the customers were out of the store Ooh. while I stayed in front to stop people from coming in. Very horror movie. Very, isn't it? Very the mist. The mist. My co-worker came back after rounding up all the customers. So I <laughs> like a sheepdog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I closed our gate and started doing as much closing duties as I could because our power probably wasn't coming back on before the store closed. As I'm making sure all the power switches were turned off, I hear a sound coming from the back of the store, and I ask my co-worker if she was sure there was no one else in there. How I terrifying! Hello! I am never oh, shopping we have bridge us again. again! I know, because you're down the you're well. You're actually dead, yeah. <laughs> I walked around the store going, if anybody's still in here, we are closed due to the fact that the power is out. That. No one responded, so I assumed the store was empty. I go back to the front to finish up, but I could still not shake off the feeling that somebody was in there. My coworker joked that it was actually a ghost Ooh. that we dubbed as Walter or a secret cat. But as a scaredy cat, I did not want to listen about a ghost. I made sure everything was locked before I headed to the back door. As I'm walking back, I heard a small laugh and I paused. I stared at my coworker and asked her nearly in tears if she laughed. Maybe she was laughing at the way I was limping or how my hair bun was shaking every time I moved. We didn't know what to do because we're standing in the pitch black store with the only windows way over at the front. The only thing standing between us and the mysterious laughter was an aisle of porcelain figurines. Oh no! What is, it? what is this? Is this like Madeline does, not Madeline. <laughs> <laughs> Annabelle, Annabelle. Annabelle does BHS. Annabelle does BHS, yes. Mm. I'm never cursing at BHS again. again. She's pushing me towards the sound, so I'm pushing her back. She's telling me that as the oldest, I should take one for the team and go towards the laugh. I'm telling her that if I'm going to die, it's going to be on my own terms and not because of some little bitch ghost. We both ended up walking towards the laugh, and as we're holding each other, we peeked our heads past the end of the aisle. And it was nothing. It was empty. Oh! We laughed at each other and unclenched our buttholes and started walking towards the back door ready to go home. As we turned the corner, we were met with a small figure of a pale woman. This is taking a turn, isn't it? My co-worker screamed and shoved me towards a shelf as I started shouting This is horrible. And I momentarily became religious. We... <laughs> <laughs> we backed up in fear, trying to become, trying to grab anything to fight the ghost. And the figure was walking towards us, probably asking us something about, but we're too busy screaming to actually listen. We stopped for a split second and I grabbed my phone that I had dropped on the floor and shunned the light onto the figure. Turns out it was actually a short white lady that we'd somehow missed. She held up a card that was in her hand and asked us if we could do a price check. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're in the middle of a nearly pitch black store. No one else was around. The store was in complete silence. Our unusual, what? our usual music wasn't playing. What? The lady used her phone to shine the light on me, and we're standing there, staring what? at each other. I was the first one to break the silence. Do you normally shop in the dark? No, but I didn't want to complain. I just thought you'd turn off all the lights to save money. I wasn't really sure what you millennials are doing anyway. What? The lady ended up trying to argue with me a bit, but I told her that even if I was nice enough to actually price this for her, I couldn't actually open the register because I don't have keys. What? I happening? redirected her to a big box store that was across the street, and I still don't think or understand why she thought I could ring her up. But it's fine. She's got. She's she's, she's leaving. She's That's, got she's, the lung. She's got the lung. That's her problem now. What an unhinged story. That I mean, I wasn't expect like I, when we started. That this, was back to front and upside down. That was back to front up down dead doing the hula hoop mm -hmm. um doing the macarena doing the macarena yeah saturday night dance what what i i actually don't know how to respond to that no idea but there are <laughs> judging from like the competency of other people that we've come across in this today's episode it doesn't surprise me that there was someone out there being like i just thought you turn the light <laughs> maybe up. she was drunk maybe maybe she was actually a ghost she was actually a ghost mm. she was the, samara the ghost of Christmas uh, past. what do we know what shop this was did they meth say? for you. Meth for you. <laughs> Ghosts of meth. For babies on meth. Yeah, babies on meth. Oh we God. we do love uh, kidnapped meth babies. Yes. <laughs> Going down a dark place, just like the ghost. <laughs> what a weird. I just didn't want to complain. Oh, so I will argue with you that you're not actually pricing me up. No, so clearly she didn't want to complain. She did want to complain. She, I think, she just wanted to fight. I think she. Why, like, why? Like, oh, stupid. So today's story is called You Will Stay Open and Serve Me. Oh, of course. Isn't this just lovely? Have you ever encountered a situation? Oh, like many times. There was like, what? Well, well, I was actually. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> After um, you tell the story, I'll, I'll see if my story is related to it. So this evening, I was on a closer. A customer came in asking to sign up to a contract and have it added to his had it. Uh, Ooh! Have it added to his Wi-Fi one. We do phone and Wi-Fi plans. It would have been good if you'd specified that. First. Okay, that would be nice. So I'd asked if he had a license or a passport required to avoid fraud, and he didn't. So he went and came back in with an ID for a workplace. I told him a second time that he needed a passport. So he huffed and puffed and said he'd get and one. And blow your house <laughs> down. He blew the house <laughs> down. Arson, house fire. He comes back with a citizen card, which we also can't accept. So I explain for a third time, you need a bloody passport. He goes off saying his ID is an ID and that I am required to serve him or he'll cancel his whole contract. Cancel it then. Yeah, bye. Cancel it. Bye. We don't need you. And asks when we close. I told him seven o'clock and he says, I'll be back at seven. Ooh. What a horrible, like, don't come back when they're closed. Yeah, Ridiculous. stupid. Especially when you do like a thing like this. It's not like you're just going, I just want to buy it's this just, oh, quickly, yeah, quickly before you close. Uh. So I say that is when we close and he turns around yelling that he'll be served and will come under the shutter if needs be. Now I'm picking up sketch vibes. He knew he needed those things the first time around. So I call a security guard to come and stand there at seven while panicking. Two guards come along and stand there and from my call until I closed. The guy came back and started saying, I didn't tell him that I was closing at seven and that he was to be served and he was tired and wanted to go home. Me too, sis. <laughs> Me too, sis. That's why we're closing. Of course, he's acting all calm because I have security there. So he says he'll be complaining about me to the manager. Yeah, okay. Tell them you didn't have the required papers and a passport and verbally assaulted me, girls. And yes, I will be telling my manager about this in the morning. These people, these disgusting people. What I don't understand is like, annoyingly, there wasn't really an ending to that story. There wasn't it was really an ending, like, goodbye. No. The, the thing is though, I don't understand like why these people think that suddenly it's just gonna work for them and their staff's just gonna be like, yes, okay, we will do this for you. Most retail workers, especially when I was working retail, like if you treated us like shit, we would do everything we possibly could to not help you. Absolutely. You because I'm like, it it's not purposefully annoying and Exactly. I'm, I'm like, sorry, I've just got to go and check this one thing. I don't need yeah. to check it. I'm just going to pretend. Yeah, exactly. Just to like no, we don't have that in stock. I'll go into the back and you just go into the back and just Exactly, exactly. Like just, if you're going to be an absolute disgusting human, we're not going to treat you like the god of it, like god of all gods. No, like, absolutely yeah. not. And the majority of the times, if you are a retail worker and you have a customer that's pretty like 
annoyingly difficult like really being difficult and you do bring over your manager and they also witness how difficult they're being difficult difficult lemon difficult yep then majority of the time the manager will be on your side about like yeah. being like well, they need to just like stop doing all that yeah basically well it's a bit so the, 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 the my story of when it comes to customers doing i must serve you blah, mm. blah, blah. this is back when i was when i was working at morrison's it was about five to five minutes to our closing time yeah the store was completely empty no one was in there was no one in the car park we were like Okay, well, let's just start closing properly now. There's yeah. no, like, what's the point? No because one's here. If anyone's going to come in the next like couple of minutes, because by the time we even close the shutters, that could be another two minutes before that yeah. happens. So I was outside and I was bringing all like the trolleys, the shopping carts to bring them inside. And then my manager was like, just like closing the door. And at this point, it was about three minutes to closing time. Normal yeah. close. So it was like, we're closed. We're closed. <laughs> like, it's, so this, and then I was just bringing another set of trolley in. And this woman comes like zooming into the car park, opens her door. And I was like, sorry, we've closed. And she's mm. like, what do you mean you've closed? It's not closing time. I was like, it's closing time, sis. Like it, it's closing. It's and she, closed. And she pulls it's out her, chocolate. She put it's chocolate. She pulls out her phone. And she goes, "It's two minutes to five. Why have you closed already?" It was like it's two minutes to five, sis. This, that's and why then, we've closed. And then, because... like a second later, the like the church bell rung at like five o'clock, and it was like, "Oh, fantastic!" Literally, it had like, divine was, was, like, intervention. It was closed. Yeah, it was. You closed early. This is totally unacceptable. What the hell am I supposed to do? I was like, maybe don't leave it till. Two a lot minutes of energy before for a closing, is exactly. that it? like, ridiculous? Maybe leave, maybe don't leave it to two minutes before coming into the store to try to like buy a shopping cart's worth of stuff. Because like, she, she had like a, she picked up like one of the carts and was going to come in. It was like uh, you, do like you, a week of shopping. Yeah, like I'll get a grip. Like stupid. It was so entitled, and I, I literally was like, not my problem, sis. Sorry, I walked off. Good bye. I was that done with it. Two minutes to closing. Ridiculous. Like, it's like. You, you stupid woman. Mm. I'm not going to give the title away from this. Oh, oh it's I your turn to do that naughty. Actually. No, no don't. No, 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 no don't. Bye, girls. I last worked in retail about a year ago in a local store chain, and this one encounter always stood out in my memory. I first saw this woman enter the store with a baby stroller. A baby. A baby. She seemed pretty normal. About 20 minutes later, I was manning the cashier and she turned up in line. She seemed a little bit nervous. So I greeted her a good morning, but she just responded with a nod. As I finished bagging her things and said goodbye, she promptly bumped into the woman beside her and all of us could hear glass bottles hitting each other from inside the stroller. Oh. The baby was an alcoholic. Yes. We tried to talk to her into letting us look at her baby, but she refused saying her baby is asleep. Uh, we inquired about the glass sound and she began screaming that it's just her baby's milk bottle. My manager finally came out to us. Oh, coming out party from the manager. No. When a small crowd was forming around her, she began shouting, stay away from me, you... You're stressing my baby out. Who do you think you are? Oh, no. I promptly called security. She started pushing other customers out of the way and she ran for the exit. Luckily, they caught her before she got away and I screamed, Ma'am, that's not your baby. It turns out she tried to steal four bottles of vodka and hid them in her baby stroller trying to pass them off as a baby. That happened all the time at my job. All, all the, the time. time. Constantly. they strollers and it was just like... No. Lady was with really big skirts on would just like come in and just like squat on something and just oh, like take it out. <laughs> <laughs> Literally wild. Absolutely wild. Uh, talk about a pressed powder. Like <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a really common thing. I'm sure people listening to that story, it probably, that's probably one of the most common ways, like at least women would tend to steal. Yeah, baby and strollers. It would never really happen with guys because they don't like their children. Although actually, I always remember when, when I was working in a department store, it wasn't BHS. They, um, they said any man who's like got like a big puffer jacket or something on, you should like keep your eyes on, even though we're not in loss prevention. So, you know, yeah. I'm not going to chase after a thief. Absolutely Can you imagine? Not. Me and an eyelash going, I know, stop it. <laughs> No, not going to happen. I'll show you my pussy. Ben <laughs> <laughs> so this one is from seven years ago. I hate seeing things like Seth posted seven years ago. Seven like on the years. internet, that feels incorrect. I wasn't even alive seven years ago. She's... <laughs> I'm not going Ooh, to naughty. say it. I know what you're going to say we then. Get some, we get some hate comments. Yeah, yeah. It's Baphomet. Right. Little bit of a preface for this one. Apparently, I sound pretty cute. I'm a manager of a fast food burger joint in a small town. I'm also gayer than Elton John doing a cover of Somewhere Over the Rainbow whilst dressed in drag. That's a very visceral image. Isn't that, it? Yeah. 
So sometimes after our supper rushes died down, I go to the cooler to count my inventory. When that was all said and done, I came back onto the floor to help out my co-workers prepare for their pre-closing shift. However, as I wear glasses, they immediately fog up due to the change in temperature. My co-workers started to laugh at me. So to make it even better, I put on my best southern accent and yelled, Oh, Lordy, help me, I've gone blind. Q co-workers laughing their butts off at me because I legitimately sound like a southern dame. Meanwhile, a customer at the front counter who couldn't see me at the time needed to get his order taken. So I went up to help him out, help him out. He refused to let a man help him, instead stating that he wanted the cute southern sounding girl to come and help him. <laughs> oh, not oh, wanting to no. let him down, I put the voice back on and was like, oh my God, a suits her at this hour, God bless mama. The man flushes, ordered something quickly and immediately left. Oh my God. Have you ever been mistakenly misgendered on like, oh, the phone when or I- things for this? When I was at, when I used to work in Morris, uh, when it, back in Summerfield. Well, my dad misgendered you. Like, yeah. Really, what a lovely woman. What a lovely woman. I was like, what an <laughs> ugly woman. When I was younger and I had long hair, so I had, I had long blonde hair. What a beautiful hair. woman. Um, several times at Morris, oh, well, it was Summerfield at the time, um, customers would be like, she did this, or like, she, she was did doing that. this, or like, she was, uh, we were doing, and she was, and I was like, oh, am I a woman? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a woman now. I am a woman. But you know what's really ironic is I used to get misgendered on the phone all the time when I like pre-transition and always called a woman. Now that I am always called a man on the phone, always. Just, just Strange. Like, when, they, when they take they my name, know. it's so ridiculous. It's like, they're like, so they've got my account up or whatever. And they're like, uh, what's the, is this Luxary? I'm like, yes, this is Luxary. They're like, thank you, sir. I'm like, what sir is called Luxaria? Lu- yeah, what, 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 <laughs> that, 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 is this Miss Luxaria I'm yeah, talking yeah, to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, sir. Well, thank like, you, sir, yeah. <laughs> Imbecile. It's, it's weird. The, uh, do you know LGB Alliance works for every call centre? Every, every And that's every, why they're always busy. Because yeah. they're busy hating <laughs> trans people. <laughs> you silly old dame. Oh, silly old bitch. Southern Bill. Oh, oh hello. Oh, hello. Mm. I've gone blind. Perfect. A yeah. beautiful story. A beautiful segue into... <laughs> <laughs> Something else. A customer threw acid in my face Ooh, and made me blind. Lovely. Um, <laughs> That's dark. Have her in London. Oh, uh, yeah, thing. it was. Did you know that whole acid attack thing? That? Was it like 2016, 17 time? Like it, it was, was literally like, oh, if I go out in East London, I may actually have to worry about being acid attacked. Weird. It was a really weird time in, in fashion history. <laughs> <laughs> So I used to work for an ice cream chain where we prepared ice cream in various toppings on frozen pieces of rock. (laughs) (laughs) What way to describe your job? (laughs) (laughs) We prepare ice cream on frozen pieces of rock. That's what they. That's how they describe their job. On this particular day, I was working with, with one other person, and it wasn't too busy. Two young guys came in about high school age. They ordered a large bowl of ice cream with a few toppings. I mixed it for them and just went to ring it up. I'll use G for the guys since I really just talked to one of them. Me. Okay, so that'll be X amount of money. G. Okay, I have a gift card. They give me the gift card and I scan the gift card. (laughs) It's not a gift card. The worst part <laughs> a about gift, a, gift, gift a, a gift card for like a little ice cream store. Stupid. So I scan the gift card, but there's still 36 pence left of the transaction. And at this point, they both just kind of look at each other and shrug. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have any money with me. Never mind. Oh, hey, it's cool. The 36p, I can just take out of the tip jar and put it in the till. No big deal, I guess. Thank you, they say. Two guys leave, and I thought that was that. Felt good doing a nice thing. So one guy comes back in several hours later. I saw him come in and went to the cash register to meet him. I say to him, oh, you're back. Did you need something else? Before I finished, and without even looking at me, or even saying a word, he dropped a $20 bill into my tip jar and immediately left. I was so shocked, and I just started stared after him until he walked out the door. I was wanted to add something. I thought, just end it. It was like a nice little... Thing that sometimes people are quite friendly. Yes, uh, there is what's a silver lining to every. Yeah. Can I? <laughs> although, can I? I will say. I will say though. Before that happened, I was thought. Twenty dollars is a lot. I thought this story was going to summarize because the customers went 
oh well never mind as if oh, yeah, like as it if was that, fine to yeah, that, give you know just ignore the 36 yeah days. exactly ignore so it. that was a bit of a strange thing but i'm actually glad that it turned out in a nice way yeah that that's very quite unusual yes usually people are not very nice no they're not retail, no they're not good. which is why a moment like this is usually like oh thank heaven oh, yeah. how lovely when you when you worked in uh Mac or what when you worked like beforehand like mm. have you ever had anyone like try to like get away with like not paying like the rest of their money because it's like oh I don't have enough there 50p is fine doesn't matter <sighs> not really because um, we just couldn't take gift cards at all okay. so that was when people would lose their mind is usually they'd be like oh I'm going to get eight of these and seven of these it would always just be after Christmas and they'd be like and I'm going to pay with this gift card and you're just like oh my you can see your commission disappear before you your can eyes see it yeah it's like, oh there it no sorry we don't take gift cards here and and then cue some argument about why you're the only Mac for miles around here. Why are you about That was an interesting adventure into the tales from So retail. this is, yeah, this has been an interesting. This, is, this has been so interesting this today, Rolly. I can't even tell you how interesting been, this video is. So, so I have, I'm uh, not, well, I haven't been well the last few weeks. Yeah, in recovery. I'm in recovery, but I fully have like brain fog at the moment. So my brain isn't working I completely. I don't even know what's wrong with me today. Eight out. caffeine drinks. Maybe you've had too much caffeine. I think that's what it is. I'm having a bit of a crash. Um, but I've got brain fog at the moment, and I literally can't focus on things. So sorry if I've been a bit weird during this something. episode. I'm so hungry. <laughs> should, we, we, should we eat first before doing your video? Yes. Yeah, we'll eat first. Um, so guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode of Insanity. Of Insanity. Let us know if you've got any tales from retail as well. Okay, guys. Do you know what? We're going. We're gonna See go. You later. But thank you so much. Please hit the like button. <laughs> Thanks subscribe. For hit the notification bell so miss any videos that are coming up. This has been Gang of the Millennial. I am Roly. This is Luxaria, and we have been spilling the hot Darjeeling right, right into your. Right. Should we go to the hospital now? Yes, yeah, we go to the hospital. Oh, goodbye.